Hi guys, in this example, we will see how we can use the drop down search in our systems. So, I have created one application, one module, I have just given the name exercise. Let me create one screen for that. So, right click to the um, UI flow and click on add a screen. I will just select the empty screen and will include in menu and give a name drop down search. Okay, so drop down search generally works on a list. So it requires a list type of variable and uh, um, uh, it just shows or I will say give data whatever we have inside that list. Right. So let me get some data from database. So right click to the screen and I will just use this fetch data from database and I will just uh, fetch all the user information so let me include user source as an entity so now i have all the user information available in the get user dot user right this is my list and this is my object now let's go back here and use the drop down search drop down search so just drag and drop so if you see the properties of drop down search it requires an option list option list that will be available inside the options as a as an option of this drop down right so if i just uh, click here and go to expression editor i can see we have a get users dot list available so just select that so this is not type of option list that's why it is not automatically binding it is asking us to map the value and label right the mapping it requires so value will be the value um whatever uh, whenever user will select something what value we need to set in the variable that will be user dot id or name whatever as per the requirement whatever it is we can set so i will just set user dot id and the label will be user dot name okay now it also uh, um, it also force us to handle the handler on change handler the component the component is written in a way that whenever we use this drop down search we have to handle the on change event so although uh, so I, I don't have any any action available in the screen that's why it is not giving anything in the suggestion so i will just click on new client action so Automatically, it has created a client action with the drop down widget ID and the selected option list. So now I have the selected option list, whatever I have selected, right? So just uh, what I will do, I will just um, show the length of selected item list, right? Whatever I have selected. So just length. Just we are showing, right? What or how many elements we have used although we will we will select only one so l e n g t h of selected items from drop down search simple not no, i don't think anything complex in this uh, example and if you want to use the id as well in the java script or somewhere else then we also have the id in our scope so accordingly um, in in what way we want to use that we can use so that's it what we have done just we have created one screen and inside this screen we have just introduced the drop down search and we have given the user list as an option list and binded the value and label let's have a look okay this is my drop down search and you see we have the users available if you want to search edward william we can search and length is one we have selected only one and we can also uh sorry we can also show whatever we have selected and we can use that variable huh? we have the variable available we have the label available and uh, we have group name description many things available so we can also show the label and id selected item selected item is current dot label plus value is value 
so it will just give an idea what it selects and uh, we can assign uh, so as per our requirement how we want to use that we can use here in this flow or we can assign to any other variable we can pass to uh, pass to the server action and whatever we want with this selection so selected is uh, edward william and value is 4 if i select ankit kumar ankit kumar value is 15 that's it very simple 